Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie if you're new and today I'm talking about the things that I wish I knew when I was a teenager. In my ripe old age I now know many things that I wish I had known 10 years ago before I made such a mess of myself in high school. So anyway here are some of those things. Firstly I wish that I'd known that there are actually long-term consequences of your actions. Whenever adults would say this to me I would always be like yeah sure whatever nothing is real nothing matters but I now realize that unfortunately the adults were right. When you're a teenager the part of your brain that recognizes and assesses consequences hasn't fully developed yet so it's a lot easier for you to convince yourself that nothing bad is going to happen no matter what you do and also this means that it's a lot easier for other people to convince you to do things that you kind of know you shouldn't be doing. I really had a very what's the worst that could happen mindset when I was a teenager and the answer is that the worst that could happen is actually a very very long list of terrible horrible consequences not just mum will take my phone off me for a month like I believe back then. Second thing that I wish I knew in high school is that being nice to people will do so much more for you than being mean. Bullying culture in high school is obviously like terrifying and it's so easy to feel like you have to join in otherwise you'll end up on the receiving end of it. Also this goes back to the last point that it's very easy to feel like there won't be any kind of long-term consequences for it but there will be for the person that is being bullied who is gonna feel bad in the moment and then probably bad for a really 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 long time afterwards but then also bad for you when you look back at yourself and feel gross for the way that you treated people. It also means that the view other people have of you is going to be that you're not a nice person. Also just basing your friendships on talking shit about other people behind their back is not a healthy foundation for a friendship at all and it will not make you or anyone else happy. Plus there's also the fact that if your friend is happy to chat shit about someone else behind their back then they're probably quite happy to do the exact same thing about you and then also they probably have this exact same thought process where they think if you're happy to talk shit about people then you're probably happy to talk shit about them so they have no trust in you. Just honestly be nicer to people. The third thing that I wish I knew in high school is that you should really allow your identity to change as much and as often as you want it to. It is okay to at any point pick up new hobbies or develop new interests or make new friends or start interacting with people differently. Your identity is never fixed and just because maybe up until this point you've always been the person who was super sporty or super smart doesn't mean that you have to hold on to this identity just because it's what other people expect to see. Being a teenager is such a fun time for brain and personality development and at this stage everything about you and your life is changing and growing so much so just don't ever feel like who you are as a person is fixed or that you have to stay where you are and stay who you are. You can literally create a new identity for yourself every minute if you want to. It is entirely your mindset. Leading on from that point though is to not do things just because you feel like you should be or because you want to look cool. If you are going to change something about yourself do it because you genuinely want to and not because you feel like you should be. Don't get me wrong I know that peer pressure is like super hard to just ignore and then again this comes back to the fact I think that your brain when you're younger your brain kind of doesn't take into account any kind of long-term consequences it's all focused on the short term and in the short term you're like people are gonna think I'm not cool but in the longer term no one is actually going to care or probably even remember whether you did or didn't do something. And then similarly to that point is to not do something just because it's what your parents want you to do. As much as your parents probably want what's best for you it is not their life and they aren't the ones that are going to have to live with the consequences of whatever you end up doing. I promise you that upsetting your parents by not doing what they want is going to be a way better option than spending forever hating your life because you've picked a career path or a life path based on what your parents wanted. Another person to not base your life decisions on when you're in high school is your partner. If you are dating someone as a teenager please don't make big decisions about your career or where you want to go to school or who your friends with based on the person that you're dating because it's going to suck so bad if you do all of this and then break up anyway. I mean I'm not saying that all teenage relationships end in breakup but a lot of them do. That's just the reality. It's just so important to allow yourself the space to become a whole person outside of your relationship. Make sure you have your own hobbies and interests and friends and goals instead of just like merging it together with this other person. This is especially important during your teenage years when your personality is going through the biggest shift in your life. So don't let the choices you make and the identity you form be influenced by your romantic partners. If they are the right person for you then you're gonna be able to cope with having separate lives. Okay my next tip is to try as many 
different things as possible to find out what you like. When you're a teenager, this is the most free time you are probably ever going to have until you're retired. So please take advantage of that and spend some time trying new things. You might end up finding your life's passion or you might discover things that you hate and never want to do. Like for me in high school, I wanted to be a lawyer, but then I did some law competition thingy in high school and realized that actually I hated it and I do not want to be a lawyer at all. And if I'd never done that, I maybe would be at law school right now, which honestly I cannot think of anything worse. But because I tried things when I was in high school, I left kind of with more of an idea of what I wanted to do. And that's still what I'm doing now. And it's meant that I haven't gone to uni with kind of no real idea and spent all this time and money on getting a degree that I don't want. So just use your teenage years to explore a bunch of interests read a bunch of books, try a bunch of hobbies, meet a bunch of people, volunteer places, talk to people you might not normally talk to. Just put yourself out of your comfort zone wherever and however you can. And my final and last thing that I wish I knew as a teenager is how important it is to be mindful about the way that you're using social media. I know we've all heard this before but the things that you post and say online do stay there forever and I feel like parents focus so much on the stranger danger aspect of social media which like, don't get me wrong, yeah, giving your, your address and your personal information out to strangers on the internet is a bad idea, but I don't think that that is actually the biggest issue. It's more the way that we are using and consuming it especially that takes such a huge toll on your mental health. I think people are definitely consuming significantly more social media than they are creating, so that is the stuff that is going to be having the biggest effect on you and your thoughts and your beliefs and your feelings. So if you're constantly seeing negative things and things that make you feel Feel bad. That's something that you're going to internalize and that's something that's going to take a huge toll on how you're feeling. Obviously no one expects teenagers to cut social media out of their lives for good, but just being aware of the accounts that you follow and doing your best to only consume content that makes you feel good about yourself and then also being aware of the stuff that you're posting and saying and ensuring that that is also stuff that does not make you or anyone else feel bad about themselves. Okie dokie, that is all that I have to say today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you watched it all the way to here, please let me know in the comments one thing that you wish you'd known sooner in your life. Alrighty, goodbye for now. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Okay, that's all. Okay, love you, bye.